Good evening and welcome to you all on call. Um, today, we're gonna be looking at crypto from a general perspective. Um, today's um, training is going to be brief, possibly, and it will not go into advanced topics in crypto, it will cover as much as possible. Some of the things we do in my crypto community, if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, and especially if you are in my Telegram channel, Telegram group, there are some of the things we do there that some people don't normally understand. So we'll be covering those things today and we might be taking a few questions. So these are the things we are going to be covering today. Uh, among others, we're gonna be looking at uh, basics of crypto, um, general basics, and then we're gonna talk about doing your own research uh, because this is a big issue, a big topic in crypto. After everything, the decision must still be yours. Uh, then we're gonna look at money-making opportunities in crypto. I am not among those mentors that love to talk and talk and talk without showing you the money. If you have watched all my videos, sometimes I can't help it. I don't know how, sometimes, I, most times I always show money and uh, I'm trying to stop this behavior. Um, hopefully God will help me uh, to stop showing those things. So I'm gonna talk about what you can start doing from, to, from today to start making money from crypto, not just paying someone to learn about drawing charts, right? Good, so uh, let's look at the basics. So crypto is like any discipline in the university or in school, uh, there are specializations. But uh, before you get to the, specialize, uh, to the specialization point, you have to do general, right? 101 and what have you. Uh, so there are different aspects of crypto, but it's good you know the basics because the basics will help you to navigate. And what I've experienced, unlike discipline, discipline in school, you need to really be in as many places as possible because this crypto field is very, very easy. So it's not so hard like a course in the university. So there is no need why you should not be aware of as many aspects as possible. Now, if you want to engage in crypto, you need to understand exchanges. You need to know where to buy and sell your crypto, and that is crypto exchanges, right? And also you need to have a place to store your crypto, that is crypto wallets. When we talk about crypto exchanges, we have centralized exchanges, says centralized exchanges. And what are centralized exchanges? These are crypto exchanges that hold your crypto assets for you, all right? You sign up with username and password, and they hold your crypto assets for you. They also have internal wallets section for you. All right. Uh, example is um, Binance, um, Hobby, KuCoin, and a lot of them. So if you're on call tonight and you are new to crypto, you need to go ahead and create account with Binance. Okay, at least Binance and Hobby. In fact, I have more than 20 exchanges. So when I create this account, because you wouldn't know where opportunity will call, or you create when you need them, right? Now, centralized exchanges are fairly easy. So it's not a big deal. It's just like your bank account, right? Now, the other form of exchanges we have is decentralized exchange. For decentralized exchanges, your money is in your care. All right, your money is in your charge. So you will have to protect your money. In centralized exchanges like Binance, if anything happens, Binance will take responsibility. 
as long as you did not reveal your passwords to someone. If Binance is hacked, Binance will pay back, right? Uh, but for decentralized exchanges, your money is in your care. So if you wanna uh, get started on Binance, it's easy. You could go to your PC and sign up on binance.com or you could go to your app if you're using phone and go to your app store and type Binance, right? And then you will see the app and then you download Binance. It's very easy. You don't need to be afraid when you do this. Follow instruction, download the app, install it, and then do your KYC. If you have any questions regarding this, always ask in my Telegram group and you will be helped. If you also need a sign up link, like referral link, also ask in my Telegram group. Otherwise, go ahead and download it and sign up, right? Um, now, for decentralized exchange, this is where a lot of new crypto users will have issues. We have entered the era of DeFi, decentralized finance, all right? So you need to have a decentralized wallet. And one of some of the most popular wallets you must have, if you wanna be serious with crypto, and if you're in my Telegram group, is Trust Wallets. Trust Wallets. So go ahead and download Trust Wallets and install it. When you are installing it, you're gonna you'll be showing your private keys, right? Keep it safe. There are videos on this. Another very important wallet is Metamax. You need Metamax. You need Metamax before because um, there are, Metamax is already very old, and there are some platforms that they only accept Metamax. You know, um, they will allow you to bridge networks on Metamax. Now, having talked about that. Sorry, it looks like I missed it up. So coming to decentralized exchanges, we are not talking about wallets now, okay? Uh, I just talked about decentralized wallets, which is the wallet where your money is in your care, like Metamax and Trust Wallet. So go ahead and download them and install them, all right? Now, talking about decentralized exchanges, their job is only to exchange. There you thread, you trade crypto, buy and sell, okay? You are not storing your crypto on decentralized exchanges. So before you, before you can interact on decentralized exchange, you need to connect your decentralized wallets. In this case, Trust Wallets or Metamax. So when we make a, a coin call in the Telegram group, in most cases, it will be for you to buy it through decentralized exchange and not Binance with decentralized exchange, right? So I hope I have cleared that, that part. Now, point number two you have to understand is networks or blockchain. You see, cryptocurrency runs on blockchain, okay? So you need to understand different blockchains. And how do you do this? I personally, I don't know all the blockchains out there, but when you wanna perform any transaction, like transferring crypto, you need to know which blockchain or which network is this crypto on, all right? Uh, so that you don't have a situation whereby you will lose your funds, especially if you are sending to an exchange. For instance, let's go to this decentralized wallet I talked about. Let's go to um, Metamask, for instance. Let me log in. Now, when you go to Metamask, you will see that um, this wallet is Ethereum wallet, Metamask comes with Ethereum, um, Ethereum network by default, okay? And it will show you the coins in Ethereum. It's the same address, the same receive, uh, wallet address, but you could also make it compatible with other networks. There are BSC network for Binance Smart Chain, Solana, Tron, Chelo, Matic, a lot of them. So now watch, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change this to another network. So let's, let me change it to Binance Smart Chain. You see that? 
and the changes, it will start showing me the money I have on Binance Smart Chain Network. But it's the same address, all right? I could go ahead and change it to Chelo. Uh, Chelo Network is going to show me the money I have in Chelo. So as a matter of fact, what this will tell you is this. If you have a, if you have a MetaMask wallet or Trust wallet, and someone wants to send you money using um, Thro, uh, sorry, using Solana. Uh, sorry, someone wants to send you money using it, BSC, Matic. You could go ahead and copy your same address, the same address, receiving receiving address, and send to that person. The person will send you crypto. Now, when the crypto enters, if you are not seeing the crypto, don't fear. All you need to do is to make your wallet compatible. All right, make your wallet compatible to. Uh, that network and you will see your money and for videos on how to do this i have it already on my youtube channel a very short video so uh, i think i did it um where is the video this one how to add other networks to metamask this one i have it on my channel so you go and watch it uh, you will see how to do this very very easily and for those who are not yet subscribed to my channel or in my telegram group i will be posting some links here for you to join so that you can ask your questions there all right so i have the links in the charts So that's very, very important. When you are doing any transaction, know the network. Some networks are compatible with MetaMask, but some are not, all right? So uh, that video I showed you on my channel, we show you how to add other networks that are compatible to MetaMask on MetaMask, okay? Um, another thing is um, you could also add MetaMask to your Google Chrome extension okay you could add metamask extension to your google chrome and then you, you have your wallet here and then you could do your transaction on pc i normally use pc i don't use phone but many people will be using mobile phone right now let's go to the next topic uh, looking up coins if you want to look up coins or find information about a coin normally a coin will either be listed or not yet listed so by listing, we are talking about being list, uh, listed on a uh, cryptocurrency um, database, okay? Or uh, uh, tables, search up table. And the most popular one is CoinMarketCap. So CoinMarketCap.com. You have CoinGecko, all right? And some others, but CoinMarketCap is very, very popular. So whenever any crypto launches, their target will be to list on coin market cap in the same day or the next day, or you know, they want to be on this table so that they will be found. All right. If that coin has not listed, then you have to look the info, search for the information in their social media. Now, when you go to coin market cap, it will show you how much money is in this market. If you look Meanwhile, coin market cap, you could also visit with your phone or download it from your uh, uh, app store, all right? Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to use PC so that it will be easy. So coin market cap will show you that there are over 16,000 cryptocurrencies listed here, all right? And then shows you the exchanges. But very importantly, it's gonna show you how much money is in these markets and how you know how much money is in the crypto market is what is called market capitalization. It's telling us here that there are $2 trillion already in this market, right? $2 trillion already in the market. And when you go to the coin market cap, it's gonna show you this table and it's gonna arrange the coins by default according to market cap. And from this table, you're gonna see that Bitcoin has the highest market cap, $820 billion, okay? It went to a trillion, but it dumped. Now followed by it is. If you also look up, you will see where they will show you 
BTC dominance, 39.5%. That is the share BTC is having, and then followed by ETH, 19.2%, all right? Then you will see other ones, uh, BNB, all right? These are, there are a lot of important metrics here, but you wanna look at the market capitalization, okay? Before you make a buy decision, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. And then look at the volume in 24 hours. This is a very important uh, metric because it's telling you how liquid the market is. So it's telling you how much money that flowed through this market in it within 24 hours. For Bitcoin, you are looking at $18 billion. So that's a lot of money. Now, uh, talking about market capitalization further, Generally, coins that have done from 10, a 10 billion upwards are considered large market cap coins, okay? Like Bitcoin, look at them. They are half over $10 billion. And these are the stable coins that are already stable. Less risky coins. These are coins, if you are new in crypto, you can comfortably buy any of them and hold them and you will not shake because these are the coins that have stood the test of time in terms of and also they have attracted most attention in terms of the money that uh, has flown into them all right then you have coins that are uh, below 10 billion dollars market cap to a billion these are mid cap coins got them they are below 10 billion to a billion now these are area where you get the best deal okay however the risk is increasing at this point but you will get the best deal here well i'm gonna explain this again now the last category are coins coins that are below a billion coins that are below a billion uh they are considered uh, more risky than the rest because they tend to be very volatile. A little money that we go into them is going to make the market to skyrocket and it's easy to also um, go the other way. And it shows that they are not yet, they have not attracted enough attention. So you want to be careful with such coins. They are the zone of risk, all right? Now, uh, to see how market capitalization can make a difference, let's, let's use if it, for instance, the price of a crypto asset grows according to the market cap. If the, if the market capitalization of ETH would double now, the price of ETH will double, okay? It will move from $3,000 to 6,000 plus, right? That is just that. Now, how do you get the, a better deal? How you get the better deal is, of course, to look from the coins that are coming up, okay? But not the risky ones, coins from $10 billion above. This is not, of course, a financial advice because there are other things we're gonna take into account. But let's show you the difference now. Look at if. 399 billion market cap. Let's put it on chart here. That is that. Now, if, if market cap will go to a, a trillion dollars and you, are, you invested a thousand dollars into it, let's make it hundred dollars. Okay. You, would, you, will, you will have only made 251% of your capital. All right. Uh, 251% of your capital. So we each price go to a trillion dollars by the end of 2022, where that's what we will be waiting to see. But now let's, let me show you a very good day. I made a video where I talked about um, HT token. So if you wanna search for a coin here, just type in the name of the coin, HT, that's Hobby token. Okay. Now look at Hobie. Hobie's market capitalization is 
uh, sorry, is um, 1.4 million. 1.4 um, billion. Okay, 1.5, 1.5 billion, it has updated. So let's look at um, the difference it's gonna make if you put your money in Hobi. All right, so let's look at that. Now, 1.5 billion dollars. So if Hobi would go to 10 billion dollars, which is very, very possible because of the utility they're offering, you are looking at 639%, 639% of your capital. Now, if Shiba, that was a shit coin, did almost 40, uh, $40 billion, Hobi could still do 20 billion. And I will show you some of the things that would make it so. And that will give you over 1,000% of your capital. So you see we are, this is why this is why people always say which coin should I invest in? It's not like it's not like there is no coins here, all right? We already know that if you want to double your money or if you don't want to lose your money, put it in these ones, all right? But uh, if you want more meat, you need to do research, right? All right. Now, um, if you want to search for a coin that is on market cap, just put in the ticker. The ticker is the symbol of the coin. Like Bitcoin, BTC is the symbol or the ticker. Ethereum ETH is the ticker or the symbol. So when you put it, let's look at Bitcoin, for instance, BTC, you could also type the name. So some of the things you're gonna see very quickly will be the websites. There will be a link leading you to the website of that project, in this case, bitcoin.org is the website, you know, managing the Bitcoin project since they don't know who is in charge, who, 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 who developed this. So uh, Nakamoto, they don't know who, <laughs> Satoshi Nakamoto also. So now you're gonna see the uh, website, you're gonna see the social media handle, Twitter, um, Telegram, if there is any, Bitcoin is an old project, so they don't do Twitter stuff, right? But uh, you're gonna also see the white paper that we explain um, what these people wanna do, okay? And everything, tokenomics. And then of course, if you are a, a developer, you wanna see the source code on GitHub, okay? These are the information you're gonna see here. Now the market cap, we have explained it. It shows how much money is in this market. The larger the market cap, the more secure your fund will be, or the more I mean, stable the project is. I wouldn't say secure your fund will be, but the more stable the project is. Now, the fully diluted market cap is not a good metric for you to use for investment because this is speculative. It is future oriented. And how, what does it mean? The fully diluted market cap is, talk, is telling you the value of this market if the mass supply of that coin is in circulation. Now, let me explain mass supply. Mass supply is the total number of the coin that will ever exist. For Bitcoin, it is 21 million and out of that 21 million um you have the total supply that the coins that have already been mined all right 18 million now the coin in circulation is the total supply which is 18.9 million right so a fully diluted market cap, when you are doing a research, always ignore it. It's not a good indicator. You, you might see a coin launch. The coin is just 3 million market cap, but fully diluted market cap, we say 35 million. And you go and dump your money there. All right? Um, so a 24-hour volume is going to tell you how liquid the market is daily. The more liquid the market is, 
better for you, all right? It shows that if you put your money here, it's not gonna be a problem, right? Um, then if you go to overview, you're gonna see the charts. You're gonna see the charts. From this chart, you can really find out around what time this project started, at least when they got listed on CoinMarketCap. And if you wanna find that out, go to all, click on all. If you click on all, you will be able to see around the time Bitcoin was listed on uh, coin market cap. Okay, you're gonna see that 2013. Okay, this was when the so, but this was not when Bitcoin started. But with the new, but from new projects in crypto, they normally get listed as soon as they they launch. Okay, so from here you're gonna see how it moved up. Then YTD, which is year uh, to date, it, it means from the beginning of this year to now, how this coin has performed. If you want to know how Bitcoin has performed from the beginning of the year, January, okay, to now, it's going to show you how it drops. All right. So, and then these ones are self explanatory. You could also uh, pull up trading view charts here. Trading view is a charting tool for crypto and forex uh, stock every financial market okay um then you could go here if you scroll down you'll be able to see um more data about bitcoin um of course the rank is already shown is number one right um, the market cap then if you click on show more it's going to show you the all-time high and the all-time low we usually we usually love to look at the all-time low and the all-time high of a crypto asset before you invest all right so it's showing you here the all-time low around 2013 when it was of course listed is 65 dollars but we know that bitcoin started in cents right but like i said when it was listed on coin market cap and then all time high, it has gone to $68,000 um, per coin. All right, now um, what else? Here you will see more stuff, like you wanna see uh, holders, okay? How many people are holding this? This is another important metric when you wanna invest in a coin. You wanna find out how many people are holding this thing. So is are people holding Bitcoin increasing or decreasing? So if you check, you will see that um, the last seven days on Friday, January 14th, you had 40,209, uh, 40 million plus, 40 million, 209,000, okay? And then, is, is within around the range. But you will see that the numbers are growing because it has grown from January 9, we had 40 million, um, $55,000, okay? And then it, it grew to um, 40 million, 200 and something thousand. So it means that people are growing. And this will also show you is whether it's a good project for you to like, you know, join. And there are other things you will see here. Now, another important thing you will be able to see from the coin market cap, looking up a coin, is we have to buy this coin, markets. Okay, when you click on market, you will see where a coin is listed. On Binance, and then you will see the pair. It is telling you that when you go to Binance, you'll be able to buy Bitcoin with USDT. So if you want to buy Bitcoin now, you know that you need USDT. It will also show you other alternatives. Like in the same Binance, you could trade Bitcoin with ETH. Okay? You could trade Bitcoin with BNB. And then also on Gates, there are, so this is going to show you exchanges where you're going to buy this. Another thing it's going to show you is the network. Okay, Bitcoin, is, Bitcoin has a network of its own, okay? Its own blockchain, which is Bitcoin. Um, which is blockchain.info. Uh, block 
Like if you want to check transaction on blockchain, when you go to blockchain, you are able to paste in any Bitcoin address and then you will be able to check it up. Blockchain Explorer. If you paste any address here, you're going to check the information, right? The same thing is applicable to other projects. They're going to show you all these things. Like, let's check. Um, let's check BNB, Binance Coin. So if you see, when you go to Binance Coin, you're going to see the Binance.com, which is the exchange you use, all right? Um, and then another thing, it will show you Binance has been audited by Satic. These are also some things you have to check, right? Now, another information I, mi I missed in the overview. From overview, you will read a little about the project. What is this project about, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I will be getting to this one anyways. So let's continue. Now, um, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, security. How do you protect yourself? There is a lot of there are, there are a lot of um, things that could take your money in this industry. So the first one is to secure your secure your accounts, your various accounts. If you're using a decentralized exchange, you want to make sure that your recovery phrases or your private keys, they are well secured. You don't want to save it online. You want to write it down, as some people will say. For my own, if you see my private keys, you can decode it because I will miss Greek, Italian, Latin. I'm going to miss a lot of things, and I wish you good luck with that one. All right. So you want to make sure your private keys are, are, are well secure, and then for the um, centralized exchanges, your login details, you wanna make sure you use two-factor authentication, right? Now, for a uh, decentralized um, wallet, you wanna make sure you are connecting to only trusted um, decentralized platforms. Connect to only trusted um, smart contracts. Otherwise, they can steal your money when you give approval. And very, very important, avoid unsolicited, unsolicited messages on social media. If you join a crypto project now and someone will write you, hello, welcome, this is this, this is what, join this, don't join, don't even reply. What I do when someone writes me, I will check if that person is not in my group or I don't know that person from anywhere, I just block immediately. So beware of them on Telegram, on Discord, on Facebook, on Twitter, okay? No admin of any project will contact you first. Okay, very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to lose your money. Now, let's look at trading on decentralized exchange. Trading on Binance or centralized exchange is very easy because on centralized exchange, you don't care about network. They have done everything concerning network for you. You can always trade. But on decentralized exchange, uh, people do have challenges and some of the things we do in our telegram channel we will talk about a coin you have to buy and you have to buy it on on centralized exchange um so let me connect again trying to reconnect Okay. All right. So if you want to buy to buy any coin, there are some information you need to have. The first one is to know about the network. If we say buy this coin, you want to know which network. If it is a Binance Smart Chain network, you will know that you will need Binance coin to pay fees and even to make that purchase. Okay. In most cases, if it is Tezos network, you will need the coin called Texas. Okay, if it is a uh, Tron network, you will need TRS, Tron. If it is Ethereum, you will need Ethereum, all right? Um, so this is a very, very important information. Now, after knowing this information, you want to check about the contract address. 
because this is not Binance, this is central decentralized exchange. You you will interact with a platform by connecting to connecting your wallet to their platform and then adding the contract address of that project so that you will interact with that smart contract contract address and then after that you will do connection so let me just uh, use one example now let's say um you want to buy some which coin will i buy now let's say you want to buy should i buy let me see i want to buy fag i want to buy fag the coin called fag okay I will go to coin market cap and look for Feg. Or even if you Google Feg, you will see it will open on coin market cap. Like I said, you could download coin market app. Okay, so I will go to Feg. Now, what I will be looking for is the contract address. You see here the contract address. It has um. It has Ethereum contract. Now everyone on call, you, you want to be careful about Ethereum. Ethereum is, is the most expensive in terms of fees. Okay, you want to avoid Ethereum as much as possible if you don't have enough money to do to pay fees. Okay, and you have to be monitoring the gas, the guai. Look at now, 154 guai is a whole lot. On coin market cap is gonna show you the guai. It's 154. Sometimes you wait around midnight or early in the morning so that the guai could fall to 20 or 55. You do what you wanna do on Ethereum, otherwise leave it. Now, FEG, they have Ethereum contracts, but they also have Binance margin uh, contracts. So if you click on it, you see that I'm gonna copy the Binance margin. See, I copied the smart chain, but now that I have the contract address, it's time to go and buy FEG. Okay, now I will open my wallet. You decide to buy with either MetaMask or Trust Wallet. So maybe I should buy with uh, Trust Wallet first. Now you want to have in mind, you want to have in mind the network. As you can see, this is by Trust Wallet. This Trust Wallet supports a lot of wallets by default, okay? Now, if you wanna buy anything on decentralized exchange, you wanna connect. And there are two ways you can connect. There are more ways, but there are major two ways I will talk about here. First one will be, you have to log in, go inside your wallet like your Trust Wallet or MetaMask and go to their browser session or decentralized application session, like Trust Wallet here, where you click on dApps, all right? Now you look for that platform or the decentralized exchange that sells the token. For Binance Smart Chain, PancakeSwap is the major platform, okay? That sells their token. With time, the particular platforms will start having their own uh, decentralized um, trading section. And most of them mirror pancake swap, like Pucoin mirrors pancake swap. So when you go to this DAP session, when you scroll through, you will see pancake swap, right? Or you could even type it in this search bar if you know the URL. So I'm going to click on pancake swap. When you click on pancake swap, Notice on top, you will see this icon. If you click on that icon, you will be able to change to any network. You don't need to add it by add it on your own, like MetaMask. So if it was on Ethereum, you have to change it, change it to Binance Smart Chain because fake, I copied the Binance Smart Chain contract. So I will change it to Binance Smart Chain again. And because it's on Binance Smart Chain, you want to have your money in Smart BNB, okay? BNB Smart Chain. And my balance is already there, 0 0.7. Then 
go under where you see keg, click on it, and then click on it, paste in the um, contract address you copied for FEG. You see, it shows FEG. Click on import, you're gonna import it. Now you are able to do what? Buy. You are able to buy. So you type in what you want to buy 0.2 BMB. If I want to buy FEG, what? 0.2 BMB. You see what the quantity of FEG is going to give me. Click on swap and then you will swap successfully. I have videos on this, so I wouldn't um, bore us with that. All right. Okay. Now, that's the first way of connecting to this exchange. The second way is to go from your phone browser, okay? And use what is called Wallet Connect. Now, let me go to my phone browser. You go to your phone browser and then just type in PancakeSwap, okay? PancakeSwap. And then click on Connect. Now use a uh, wallet connect, wallet connect because you are not inside Trust Wallet or MetaMask. So I will click on wallet connect. Okay, and then click on connect. And now select your wallet if it's MetaMask or Trust Wallet. So I will select uh, Trust Wallet. And it will approve and then I will connect. When it connects, it's gonna now take you to pancake swap. Your wallet is connected. You will do your 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 business, okay? All right. So um that is another way of connecting. Now um the final way I want to talk about is on PC. I normally do this on PC because it makes life very, very easy for me. So if you wanna connect on PC, just visit that platform after making sure that you have installed Metamax and then made it compatible. I know this is getting technical, but yeah. Uh, can you see what I'm showing? Yes, I, I believe. So when you go here- Yes, we can see. All right, when you go here, you're able to connect. It's easy. You connect your wallet, choose Metamax, okay? And then connect. Now, if you don't have Metamax installed in your browser extension, in your Chrome extension, it's okay. Just use Wallet Connect. Now, I will click Wallet Connect. I will still connect my wallet. Wallet Connect, then go to your phone. If you go to your phone, open the wallet you wanna use. Okay, this time around, should I use, okay. Let me use MetaMask. So it's easy. When you open your phone, or oh, let me use Trust Wallet. If you open your phone, scan. Let me open. So it will be quick so that I'll go to how to make money. So when you go here, click on settings at the bottom and then click on wallet connect. And then you see, I'm gonna scan this now. And then connect. You see, my wallet is connected. So all those problems of trying to download Chrome extension or whatever, you don't always need it. If you are using wallet connect, all right? And then here I could also do my uh, swap. Now, another place you could go to swap Binance Smart Chain based tokens is on Fullcoin. Fullcoin.app. Fullcoin mirrors pancake swap. And for new coins, when they're launching newly, the best place to swap is pancake swap because sometimes it delays to appear here. And people will say coin and finish everything here, and you're still waiting here. I, I wouldn't know that it has not happened. Okay. Uh, or you could use this one. Um, there's just everything will be provided again in the in my Telegram channel. 
All right, so that is about connection. You wanna make sure you're only connecting to trusted smart contracts and not to anything you see, all right? So let's, uh, let's look at, let's go to the next one, doing your own research. Now, uh, this is a very, very important, important topic. We only give opinion and no one is allowed by law to claim to be a financial advisor unless you are qualified, you are certified to do that, okay? You are not allowed to do that. So what it means is that no matter how I analyze or anyone analyzes, making sure that you really uh, understood what you are getting into is your own, is your responsibility. So you wanna do your own research. So how do we, you know, reason about a, a coin when we are getting into that coin? So there are things you wanna make sure. The first one is use case. You wanna make sure that this coin has utility, it has value, all right? So these are the questions you wanna ask. What value does it have to offer you, uh, offer to the people? What new thing is it bringing into the market? And if it is mimicking what others have done, like people, the ones mimicking Shiba and Doge, ask yourself why. So what, what would they do differently, okay? Now, it's not enough. You want to also look at uh, the token economies, which is tokenomics. You want to know the supply, the total supply, okay? And you want to know why is the supply so? If they're having one quadrillion, why? Some of them will tell you, okay, it's because it's, it's gamified. So people will have to earn a lot of this, fine. So you want to check the supply, all right? And you want to check the market cap. How much money is already in this project? If it's already existing coin. And if, if there is anything like 400 and something thousand dollars, then you know that something is maybe there. It's, it's really a very, very uh, risky project, right? And then you want to check the holders. If there is 3 million, if there is like, 3 billion tokens and it is only five wallets or seven wallets that are holding it, there is danger. Or if one wallet or three wallets are holding 20%, 10%, 5%, there is danger. Those wallets could go ahead and dump it, dump the coin on you, all right? Normally, if you go to the blockchain of the project uh, and then if you go to the blockchain of that particular coin and then paste in the contract address, of the coin, you will see the holders, all right? Then you wanna find all this information as well in the white paper. If you want to read further, they always provide their white paper, okay? Um, then, of course, there is the light paper and then the white paper that is more technical. The light paper is a summary. And then this one is not really, for me anyways, this one is what I checked last, the owners, who are those behind this? For most crypto projects, when they are beginning, they are not willing to show their faces, all right? Until they begin to succeed, they will start showing their faces. They will be there, but some of them do not put their owners. But if you see a project that is willing to put their owners up front, and you could go and Google them, and you will see that they, have more, they will have more credibility but I don't place it first, but it's important, you know, the owners, the backends they have. And then you wanna go, to, it's not enough talking, showing all these things. You wanna go to their social media handle. You wanna go to their Telegram channel to see the sentiments, see what people are writing there, whether people are happy or not. You wanna check their Twitter handle to know when last they tweeted, okay? <laughs> if it's a new coin, they have to be tweeting always, right? So um, maybe I think we already talked about that. Uh, things like uh, FEG, I don't know why I always write about this FEG, but you know, if you go to FEG, you should be able to see their websites, go there and check the website. This is the white paper, okay? And then under community, you see their Twitter. Check out when last they tweeted, right? You can also go to Reddit, go to their charts. Okay, 
check out what is I always join their Telegram channel. I will just go there and relax and then be monitoring what is happening. All right. <laughs> then you want to also read about the token here. Okay. And you see, these people that are not talking about who is the owner, but the moment this coin, um, maybe Binance lists it and it, it does up to 10, um, 30 billion now, maybe the owner will start coming out, you know. So that is that is how to you have to really do your own research, all right? Good, good. So now let's look at um, money making opportunities in crypto. Money making opportunities in crypto. Now in this market, you must not be an expert to make money from crypto. You can just walk in and do the necessary thing. Just put your money um, in some area and you are making money, all right? And one of the first ways you could make money in crypto is airdrop, okay? Airdrop, companies use it to get more users, okay? To get more... Uh, people interested in their projects, they give you free coins, okay? Or they might use it to reward existing customers, all right? Like do Christmas for them. Like this uh, Avalanche, we always do. If you go to Avalanche, they have airdrop session, but those that are giving the airdrop are those who, part who are participating in their, who participated in their sales, in their um, sales, so let me change, see, I'm switching my network to Avalanche so that it will work. Because whenever you are visiting a decentralized uh, platform, you have to think about the network. Now I'm gonna, so it's already connected. You see airdrops here. I have more than $10 airdrop here to clear. So when you go to Avalanche, you will always check eligibility. You see, I have $3 here to clear. Both of these token, check eligibility. Look at that, I have, wow. I have $93 worth of others to claim, wow. So you see, so that is airdrop, we still come back to this. Um, we still come back to this. Now, you wanna be careful with airdrops. There are a lot of scams, okay? There are a lot of scams, especially any airdrop that we ask you to pay. Uh, there was an airdrop I posted um, uh, a few days ago. Yeah, they are paying, they are really genuine anyways, but the, the issue they had was the gas fee, okay? It, Ethereum gas fee, they have launched, all right? And they have listed on CoinMarketCap, but the gas fee killed the project. So they are trying to see if they will list on the centralized on centralized exchange like Binance to make it easy for people. But generally, you wanna be careful with airdrops. There are a lot of rubbish, garbage out there that will steal your money. So, and some could even hack your account. You could approve and give uh, permission for them to steal your money. You wanna be careful. That's why I hardly post airdrops in my phone. There are a lot of them. Okay, but you could get quality of drop. If you go to CoinMarketCap, for instance, you go to coin market cap. You're able to see um, airdrops, you know. We're able to see some airdrop session. Mm, what is it? Okay. Uh, you see, they are even flashing it. Um, there is a session for airdrops here where you'll be seeing um, different airdrops. But the airdrops, you have to perform some action and uh, it's based on lottery. Sometimes you may not be lucky, sometimes you will be lucky. All right. So now the next one is spot trading. Spot trading is the easiest thing to do in crypto. Okay. Like I have told you about these coins, go ahead and buy any of them, okay, that are topping the charts, the table, and hold them. You'll be fine. And then in spot trading, you could be a day trader or a position trader, a long-term holder. If you're a hodler, it is better for you. If you buy these things and take off your mind from them 
and allow it to give you one percent at one thousand percent or ten thousand percent depending on the market cap okay i talked about the market cap today so that you will be having what is called realistic expectation you can't put money in bitcoin and you are waiting for bitcoin to, to give you 10s within 2020 22 it's it's hard to happen because the market cap is very large okay bitcoin can do 2s 3s but not 10s okay so if you are investing in bitcoin if you buy bitcoin you are expecting to either double your money and then you sell all right if you're a long term holder and if you are putting money in small projects like this FTS, which is a very powerful project, at six billion, you should be expecting something like maybe it doubles or it triples, okay, or it goes four s. Then you can take your money, right? Or if you are looking at Hobby, that is still a billion, then you should be expecting at least ten s as a long term holder, okay? Then if you're a day trader, that means you want to learn now how to analyze the charts very well so that you know when to enter and when to exit, all right? Uh, so spot trading is the easiest thing to do, no risk. So if it crashes terribly, as long as you don't sell, you will always be profitable, okay? Um, then you have the leverage trading, like futures and margin and all of them in the category of derivatives. You know, this one is like forest. So you borrow money to trade. So you want to do this with experience, all right? If you have experience, you have to be experienced to do this. Otherwise, it's very risky. Any loss you are recording here is real loss. I still do futures, but Binance stopped those in Germany from doing that. So I am using buy bits. Okay, but it's a very risky one. That's why I stopped talking about futures. Now, the next one is P2P. That is peer-to-peer. -peer. You could, you know, engage in peer-to-peer. -peer. And how does how does peer-to-peer -peer work? Let's say, um, let me open Binance. Peer-to-peer -peer brings buyers and sellers together, okay? And makes it possible for buyers and sellers to exchange their crypto assets easily, okay? So the buyer will usually advertise his or her coin. The, sorry, the seller will usually advertise his or her coin. And then the buyer will pay into the seller's account, and then the exchange or the screw manager will notify the seller, money has been paid. The seller confirms the money and click, I have received the money, and then the fund will be released to you. If you go to Binance, if you go to Hobby, you will be able to do P2P, but you can make it a business, you could learn more about it, be a merchant here, list your coin, okay? and then you are taking some profits. It's a scale you need to learn, okay? And you can be making some money every day by buying low and selling high to other people. Because when you are, wanna sell your coin this way, you wanna avoid all the hassles of wasting time. So it's faster, all right? Today I sold a coin for Naira on Hobby, and the person was telling me, I uh, banks are taking a fee of hundred dollar or something. Should I proceed? I say, Mister Man, I don't have time. Take the money. Just take the money and you know, and send me the money and get this coin. You see, so you could learn how to take advantage of the differences in price on P two P, and then you will make a lot of money. There is also a Telegram, WhatsApp groups you could create to help people. We have one in our community. We have people buy and sell, okay? So the screw manager will be taking some, some fee, like depending on the amount you are transacting, $100, $100, Naira, $200, you know, 
500, depending. So you could make a business out of it. Now, ICO, initial coin offering. This is the area you, are, you will be familiar with. We do it a lot in our Telegram channel. Now, initial coin offering is how companies raise funds to you know, start their projects on blockchain, all right? So if it is happening on exchange, it is called initial exchange offering. Like Binance, Binance has this launch pads, okay? Launch pool also. I think there is a launch pad going on now. On Binance, look at that um, launch pad that will happen, a League of Kingdoms. On Binance, you can participate in their launch pad, get this token for free by holding BNB on Binance, okay? We usually announce these kind of things in the forum and you usually see the rule to participate. Just read the information, follow the instruction and you'll be fine, okay? Now, the one I love, I love both, I love uh, most is the one that happens on Hobby. I also do KuCoin uh, uh, bond, bond drop. The one that happens on Hobby, where is my Hobby? I thought I had it open. Yeah, Hobi Hobi Prime Prime List. Look at this. Why I love that of Hobi is that I get more for my money for waiting. Okay, so Hobi Prime List is something everyone in our community should learn to engage in, and it's easy. They will give the condition. Okay, there are two conditions. The first way will be participation by queue. By queue, like for this Gary said, they will do now. If you want to participate by queue, that is by lottery. You have to mean, you have to be trading up to two hundred dollars daily. That's all, okay. And then on that day, they will place you on queue. You will not get guaranteed spots. If you are lucky, you will get this token. They might allot ten dollars, fifty dollars for you, whatever. Then the another way, the second way is um, is uh, by holding. Hobby token, okay, a minimum of 300 Hobby tokens. If you are holding it, it is guaranteed that you're gonna get allocation that day, all right? Like this one now, the, the period, the counting has already started, right? Between January 14, today is already 15, so yesterday. So um, if you missed, if you don't have up to 300 HT token, then you have to maintain you have to be trading up to $200 daily. You can swap your token from one to the other, you know, just to make sure you qualify. But there are other ones they do, other launch uh, prime list they do. You don't need to trade any day. All you need to do is to have about up to $50 in your Hobby account, USDT, and you will participate. Now, having Hobby token or trading daily does not qualify you automatically. You have to also indicate your interest. So when the time countdown finishes, you have to come here and click, I am interested, that, that is register, right? So that they will include you. Then during the sale, you will also come and buy your own token. It's a good thing to do, uh, Prime List. I think it has given me some good uh, money consider, uh, in relation to Binance. Now, um, so that is an example of initial exchange offering, okay? Then you have the initial desk offering. Remember the centralized uh, exchange. They also do these um, ICOs, okay? Uh, some of the ones, almost the ones I have been calling in group, they are done on the centralized exchange. In this case, you want to again know on which network, if it is Ethereum, if it is Binance chain, get the token, the, the corresponding token ready, okay, to engage, all right? Um, this is an example, let me show you, example of initial desk offer, which is this Ava, Ava launch we normally do. This thing has made me some good money uh, because, because of the quality, is my audio clear enough? Someone said the audio is not clear enough. 
I can hear you clear and loud, sir. All right. All right. So that person, please check your this thing. Check your, your network. So normally I do search out for things that will give me good buck for my money on a long term. And Avalanche is one of them. Okay. And when you go to any of them, they're going to give you instruction what you have to do to participate, right? I want to launch the app. If you launch the app, they're going to show you the step. Register and do your KYC. Verify your wallet. And then they will require you to stake their native token, which is Zava. All right. And then any set they are doing, you will go and register. I have this thing on video. And here is a thing. This is on Ava, Avalanche blockchain, okay? Ava's blockchain. This is on Ava's blockchain. So if you want to participate in this, buy Av Ava's, buy Ava's token and send it over to your wallet, MetaMask Trust Wallet. When you send it over, Use uh, Trader Joe, which is the exchange, the major one of the major exchanges for Ava, Avalanche Pro, Ava's projects. Trader Joe. When you go to Trader Joe, you will be able to swap Trader mm -hmm. Joe. When you go to Trader Joe, okay, go to their threads and and swap your some of your Avas to Zava. And then come back to this place and stake it. Come back to Avas and stake it. With this, you will now qualify for any sale. Whenever you go to this uh, Avalanche platform, click on sales. You will see their upcoming sales and their completed sales. You see this is an upcoming sale. Click on it, register. When you click on it, you will see the registration. I have already registered. That's why it's saying buy tokens. So on these dates, I will come and buy my token all right it's very easy now this is why i said i love this platform look at all the sales they have done look at the amount we bought it for compare it with the current price even with the crypto crash none of them of course this one iceland that they just did it in christmas but you see okay i'm just seeing that imperium empires yeah, none of them, none of them has dropped below the IDO price. Okay. And um, they are all time high. Look at their all time highs going very high, 164%. You know, so a lot of money. This one made me a good money, a good money, crab, crab, or whatever. They just gave me $5 allocation. I made $600 from that, right? So that's why it's something you should also. Uh, get involved in. There are a lot of them. Uh, there are some I don't talk about in the forum because of how complex, but we'll keep on bringing them and then be dissecting them small, small for everyone to understand. All right. So that is about this one. Then let's look, look at staking, farming, liquidity providing, lending. These are all forms of giving your token to end a promise token okay in these ones you commit your token and then you end that token or a token that is promised there are risky staking platforms the ones on defy uh, decentralized platforms they are really risky they are new and they are highly uh, not very reliable so what you want to check when you are staking your money anywhere is to check the APR, the APR, annual percentage pH, APY and APR, they are one and the same, okay? So APY, or they are similar anyway, it shows how much percent you're going to be making in one, in one year, okay? If it is high, it is risky, all right? So if you go to every wallet, every centralized exchange like Binance, will be they all have staking. Uh, let's check Binance. Let's check Binance. If you go to Binance, you will see. Um, you will see. Let's go to. 
look at that and binance and you will see uh, a lot of play, a lot of pro programs you could participate in okay look at this Azure infinity 25 percent per year okay you could put your coin there and then it lasts for seven days so it's gonna pay you it's gonna divide just if you want to know how much you're gonna make in these seven days just divide 25 percent divided by 365 days whatever you get is what you are making daily okay and you see you see this small apr per year that's to show you how stable it is right and then you see orders all right now there is this new uh, feature auto invest uh, our leader pascal talked about it yesterday which is also good what it what auto invest what auto invest does is you allot some money usdt and then say the interval the, uh, how you want it to be invested if you want it to be add if you want like ten dollars to be added every week for you or every day or every month during that time it will just go and take that ten dollar from your wallet and add it to this and be giving you interest okay so you kind of adding ten dollars each time and when you run out of money it will just harvest what you have earned and also add it up okay so you kind of compounding but what I want to point out there is that you see the the return on investment is low and stable. All right. Now, even on this Binance, there are risky, risky form of staking, which you should avoid. And Binance will tell you, you have to be careful with them because those ones are from decentralized platforms. They list it on Binance. Binance cannot guarantee those ones. Let me see. Staking. Look at that. Look at DeFi staking. If you go to DeFi staking, you see, Binance will give you a disclaimer because if anything, if anything happens to your money, Binance will not be held responsible. All right. Like this one is from Binance Merchant and Venus. All right. So these are places you could put your money and then it makes you money on centralized exchange on decentralized exchange it is obtainable like me i have been doing auto compounding for um this coin cake let me check let me check um i think i have it in pools let me find it i just threw in some cake there and then i left it and it's auto compounded. I did this because, um, okay, I think it's this one. I did this because um, uh, pancake swap is one of the foremost and is relatively stable. And also, whatever they are paying is not outrageous, you know, staked auto cake. So it has made me around two twenty dollars, okay, in a couple of months, and then I staked sixty one cake, or rather, I think I staked less than this, but it harvests automatically and puts back. All right, so that is on decentralized, um, decentralized staking. So one one takeaway here is this: flocation we us we always also affects your money. There was a time I saw this went to 2000, but because of fluctuation, you see it's around 722 because cake also crashed from $24 now to around $11 or so, right? So when you are compounding, you are not running away from fluctuation. Uh, this is a journey of patience. It's a journey of patience. So uh, that is one takeaway. Um, then, so farming is the same. It's a form of it's a form of staking, okay. And then you have liquidity providing. Whenever you go to Pancake Swap or Pool Coin or any decentralized platform to swap token, people provided that liquidity, okay. It normally goes in pairs, okay. If you wanna buy uh, Feg with uh, BNB, 
okay? Somebody has provided that fair VMB liquidity. And then you make money for providing the liquidity. But of course, you want to make sure you know the risks associated with it, like in, in permanent loss, when one of the tokens fluctuates drastically to the downside more than the other, you might be losing part of your money, okay? Also, you have to consider the risk associated with uh, DeFi uh, platforms, all right? Then lending, you can lend your token. People need money, they borrow it. One of the best lending platforms, you have Compound, you have Nezo, Nezo.io. I was part of Nezo in 2017. In fact, Nezo would have made me $500,000 if I didn't dump that token. But today, Nezo, Nezo is so huge in lending, all right? Now, the next one is um, the, the sensation of the moment of the year. You have game fights, you know, uh, play to earn uh, platforms. The world is at a point where they are trying to make what people like, to monetize what people like. And that is game. People play a lot of game. Even here, I know uh, my, my friends, they, they child every month, they spend more than 250 euros on game. And this child does not make any money. Now, if the child sees a crypto platform that would make him some money by playing game, I mean, he will die there, right? So Gamify is going to make his gonna make a lot of wave this year there was an, an ICO I got to you guys uh, Akoya Legends they are into Gamify too you could play the game and um, connect your wallet and play a game I think um, I have to switch back to um, you see why it's not connecting because I switched my wallet to um, to Avas, but it's on Binance Smart Chain. So wallet is important. I go to Smart Chain and now it connects. Here you could um, pick a character and um, let me connect it again. You could pick a character and start playing and start earning money, all right? See, you could go to battle and start and pick a character and then start earning. Another one I, I, I did, Biswap. I'm going to do a video on Biswap. We are all part of Biswap. Biswap should be one of my picks for long term hodl. For Biswap, we could see 20s. You know, Biswap, they are doing very well. So, and it's very cheap now. If you can buy Biswap and hold, buy it and hold. But they have their gamify. I'm going to show you how much I made playing their squid uh, game. You see, I, I already made, um, I bought some players. I bought, this, I bought these players and then I bought the bosses that will take me to, to play. And these bosses are NFTs. You could sell them in their NFT marketplace. I, play, I made that $8 playing the game. <laughs> All right. So that's Gamify. Now, it is still evolving, okay? It's gonna get advanced, very technical, like the way people will like it. And people will die here playing this game, okay? And then the tokens and, um, uh, and what have you. Then you have the NFT. NFT is a, also a very big, uh, a big thing this year. So NFT is basically um, you, you convert what you have, your artwork, could be music, it could be anything, anything. It could be images, convert it into, uh, make it, uh, give it a, di a digital signature and you could sell it, right? People could buy it. Now, uh, one thing, you have to know about NFT that any Yahoo can just go and create an NFT. There are a lot of sites where you can create NFT, like in OpenSea. OpenSea is one of the, the biggest, one of the biggest. 
you go to open C nice, you can create. You can create an NFT of your of your child. Again, I have to switch to it. So see, I have to switch to it. All right. Now you could go here and upload the picture of your child and then give it a, a digital signature. And then you have NFT. All right. And then anybody, anyone could buy it if they, if they love it. Now, here is the thing about NFT. What makes NFT, what gives it its value is first, it has to be, it has to be uh, appealing, okay? It has to be appealing. Every NFT is unique. There cannot be two, two of such anywhere, okay? Like if you have your image and you turn it into an, an NFT, it is very unique. Even if people have copies of that image, you are the one, you are the one holding the original. Those other images that are having, we only make what you have popular. It's like when you have Mike, when you are playing Michael Jackson's music, you are not, the, it doesn't make you the owner of the music. You are only making Michael Jackson's music popular, all right? More popular by playing it. At the end of the day, the owner is known and nobody is gonna buy any NFT from you if he can confirm digitally on the blockchain that you are the rightful owner. You see we are, you see where the trick comes in. Now that's the first thing, uh, first, uh, that's one thing about NFT. Now what we give an NFT is value is, it has to be appealing, you know? People have different tests. So it should be, people will like it before they buy it, okay? But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the backing behind the NFT. So don't go ahead and start creating random NFTs. That's why people buy the backing. Imagine if um, Bill Gates or Elon Musk try to create an NFT of one of their products. It's gonna jump to $500,000, right? because of the backing. So when you wanna invest in an NFT, you have to do what? You have to look, you have to check for the people behind it. That's how you will get value for your money. Now, one last thing about NFT. There is what is called rarity. Rarity is what will determine how expensive an NFT within the same group of NFTs will be. Let's say Microsoft is offering NFT, for instance, and they distributed the same kind, you know, you will see this NFT, they are similar, it may, the same kind of stops, all of you bought it. If Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C bought the NFT, that of Mr. C might be more expensive than that of Mr. A and B but it is still the same from the same company. Why is this so? There is what is called rarity. Rarity is the, rarity we determine how rare an NFT would be. And this rarity is measured by the attributes of the NFT. For instance, there was this NFT I announced for us to buy. I think uh, Rogue Penders, Rogue Penders, all right? So let me check. Let me show you how to check the rarity of your NFT if you bought the uh, if you bought Rogue Rogue Panda. Um, and of course, there are sites there are sites where you can check the rarity of an NFT. So let me. I just want to show you. Um, open does um so nft yeah so rarity if i go to this discord okay if i go to discord um first of all where are the let me show the nft uh i got I will copy the codes and go to Discord. It's gonna tell me whether my 
NF, my NFT, the one I got is common or is uncommon or it belongs to a, 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 a greater class. Or anyways, let me just leave that. But um, there are sites, uh, Rarity. You can go to Rarity tools and check the rarity of your NFT. Or the company that issued the NFT will tell you how to check the rarity of your NFT, okay? Um, let's see. You see, you see this? For instance, these are the different attributes of this particular uh, uh, NFT. And the rarity score, it says highest floor price. That means it is of great quality, okay? So it will cost more money than another of these that has lesser rarity, okay? Now, if you go to Biswap, for instance, these buses I bought, they have different capacity. Like this bus now can only take one person. This one can take two persons. There are buses that can take five persons, okay? And players, they have different squid energy. What is called squid energy? Look at this. Look at the squid energy of this player is 469. Um, so now the higher the higher they are, the more money people are willing to pay, pay to you for that. You understand? Now, how do you how do you get how do you get the best from the NFTs when you buy them? How can you get the best? Hey, stop, stop it. A moment, uh, let me take this off. All right, so how can you get the best from NFT, the one with the uh, best quality? The answer is this, you cannot, you cannot. NFTs are minted, okay? So when they are being produced, they are minted. During at the minting state, it's gonna be a game of luck. So it's gonna favor everyone. Randomly, you mint whatever you mint, if you mint the one with the great quality, Congratulations, okay? Now, the only way you, for you to get it is to buy it in the secondary market. So after NFT is minted, it's gonna be listed in the secondary market like OpenSea and what have you. Then if you have the money, you will now go and buy the one with the highest quality because you know the value, all right? So that is about NFT. Then you have the metaverse, which is still developing, which is talking about um, virtual, virtual world, okay, connecting it to social life. You have some projects on it like sand. Uh, if you go to CoinMarketCap, you will see these categories, you see NFT, or if you come down here, you will see NFT, you will see Metaverse. So if you wanna invest in a project that is into Metaverse, which is the new thing, especially after the Facebook uh, owner, Mike Zuckerberg announced that, if you go to CoinMarketCap and click on Metaverse, you see projects that are into metaverse. You could now do your research, you know, go to the groups, know what they are doing and put your money. As a matter of fact, these projects you are seeing here are great projects, great projects. Engine would have made me also 700 and something thousand dollars. Engine, I was part of this project. I bought it at nothing. <laughs> I was surprised. Look at engine now, it is over $2. All right, so these are all great projects to invest in because um, they are the new thing. Of course, you have the NFTs and what have you. Now, um, let's go over to career. You can also you can also make a career out of uh, blockchain, block, out of the blockchain. If you want to go technical, if you're a dev. You could easily become a blockchain developer, learn solidity, you know, and then they are in high demand and you could work from anywhere and companies are willing to part ways with thousands and thousands of dollars to maintain you, right? Or you could also become a blockchain consultant to take a certification and become a blockchain consultant, um, help companies with projects, you know, 
and advise um, ad, ad, advise them on certain matters, right? Now, the last one after this, we will take question is mentorship. Okay, you could mentor people, you could mentor people on, on, in, in crypto space if you have knowledge and make money. What if you don't have crypto knowledge? You could have still men, you could still make money by you know doing affiliate marketing. Okay. A lot of companies they need new users, new subscribers, Binance, Hobby, they always have their referral link. You could always use your referral link and help people to get started on Hobby on Binance. Okay. Now, if you want to make it more conscientious, all right. Um, we have um Royal Q, for instance, the Royal Q, like the one myself and some people in my, a lot of people in my crypto community, of course, you will see how you can trade with Royal Q, all right? And it helps you since I have shown you now that for any staking you are doing, you're going to fight with fluctuation, all right? So the same process is involved in Royal Q, but uh, in Royal Q, Royal Q is at it promises you more, okay, from trading aspects than the percentage you are seeing on Binance, five percent per year, two percent per year. Royal Q could definitely make you up to one hundred percent per year and more. All right, but you could go the extra mile of becoming an affiliate, okay, uh, get people involved in Royal Q, and you make a lot of money. Now, this session is not about um, going, it's not going to go into details about Royal Q, but what I want to promise those on call tomorrow, we'll be having a session for Royal Q. So if you are not yet in Royal Q, I'm going to be doing Royal Q presentation tomorrow. Now, I know that I said a lot, but I didn't go into details. There are a lot more. The only way we can cover this is if we have all the time on earth, but we don't have all the time on earth. Now, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you are in my Telegram channel, because what I will be doing is I will start taking these topics one after the other, breaking them down maybe in small, small videos. And also if you have questions there, we'll be able to answer you, all right? And if we put on projects there, you will also be able to, you know, get your uh, questions clarified now i will invite anyone that has question maybe with regard to any project that we have announced avalanche uh prime list what have you anyone that has question now should indicate by raising up his or her hands there are people in the telegram group they always say we don't know anything or we are confused so if you have question now this is the time to ask your question raise your hand and i would ask you to unmute. Thank you. Let me. All right. So, M Micah, Anthony, go ahead and ask your question. Micah, Anthony, unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, I thank you for your presentation. I have uh, learned so much from it, and I think it's going to help me in future time. Uh, but my question, I'm so interested in the the airdrop. I I I if if I get like two, 20 million airdrop now, maybe for a new listed coin, and in future time the coin become one dollar, will will that will be my 20 million still be uh, valued or it will diminish that's what i want to know one and then two how can you identify a scam uh, a drop how can you identify that this one is scam thank you sir <laughs> Hello, sir. All right, Anthony, you might, okay, good. So um, to answer your question, if you get, if you, if you got like a number of airdrops, if the price increases, multiply the quantity by the price, that's what you have, okay? That's number one. 
So in the second question, to how to identify scam airdrops is easy. Um, you want to make sure that before you do any airdrop, you, you, you know what the project is all about. You join the forum, that's number one, and make sure that the project is legit, okay? Now, even, even before then, there are things you have to look out for. If they are asking you for money, then know that it may not be legit. Only pay money for any airdrop if you know, but most airdrops will not ask you for money, okay? Uh, secondly, the things they will ask you to do, if they ask you to give, give them your private key or login, like all these bots, Telegram bots, airdrops, I don't do it. I don't like anything botting me here and there, all right? So, and then that, that's just that, you just need to be careful, all right? Uh, and then another thing you have to do is if you must do airdrops, make sure you have different wallets, okay? Make sure you have different wallets for it, okay? In your Trust wallet and your MetaMask, you can actually add many wallets inside, all right? So have okay. different wallets for your airdrops so that you know that these are airdrops. Did I answer your okay. question? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, there was a video you posted how to uh, uh, what I revoke or uh, uh, connected uh, wallet. There are video like that, so I don't think if that one if, will that one be working too. Yes, yes, uh, I I I I do it every day. Even today, I did it. Uh, you can actually revoke. So watch the video again, and if you are not if you are not comfortable with a smart contract you connected to, revoke revoke. Okay, I sometimes okay. when a platform promises me something, I go and claim it and then I will revoke immediately. Like, was it with this phantom? For phantom wallets, I think I claimed, there was something I claimed there. Uh, was it, uh, it, it was this token, the Salon DAO, okay? They gave it for me because I've done a lot of transaction there. Immediately I finished, I rushed here. I went down here immediately. I share. I um. I went to uh, the trusted app, right? Yeah. You see that I revoked. Now let me revoke some now. Some I don't trust. Help the radio. Uh, you see. Let me revoke this one. So, let, let me revoke this one. Let me just revoke. So in your wallets, okay, you will have a feel of it. This is intuitive. You will search around, you see we have to revoke some certain things. But for Binance Smart Chain, I also show this in video. So watch my video, okay? And then you see how to revoke, all right? Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. You're welcome, all right. Um, so let's go to uh, Prince. Prince Joe, D-A, go ahead. Yes. I want you to throw some light on this taking which uh, I've heard about it before, but I don't understand exactly how lucrative it is. And uh, Staking, how, right? yes, taking, taking. I am interested in, in taking, but can you throw more light on it? All right. Um, Staking, is very, very straightforward, okay? Every platform, every, almost all the crypto platform, they have a staking, staking um, aspects, Hobby, Binance, also decentralized. So how staking functions is that you will, put, you will commit a particular crypto in exchange for another crypto, okay? Let's check Binance, for instance. When you go here now, Let's see, um, click on N or staking. So let's go to staking. I have a lot of program there. Okay. You see this one, 100% they are paying, but it, it is sold out. And I am not seeing what, what you are doing. You are not seeing my screen? No. Go to, go to, go to, go to uh, Zoom. Are you on Zoom? Open Zoom app if you see me. I'm on Zoom now. Okay, uh, let me ask the house. I am, I am seeing you, Claire. 
So I think the fault is from you. You have to go open Zoom up. You will see what I'm showing. Are you not seeing my screen? I was seeing it before, but now that I'm asking this question, I'm not actually seeing it. Uh, maybe you have, I think you migrated away. You have to click to get back to the screen. All right. But uh, uh, that, that's what you need to do. But here is the thing. Okay, this is how staking works. Now look at this coin, uh, Cake, for instance. Cake is paying 42.25%. If we are going for 30 days, we are going for 60 days, 45, 90 days, which, are, which is sold out. This one is sold out. Also, 60 days is sold out. 30 days is paying 42.25%. To know how much you're going to earn, you have to do what? Get the percentage divided by divided by um, three, 365 days, which is one year. Okay, so let's say this divided by this. So you're gonna be earning 0 0.1% 0 .1, 0 .1 every day, all right? But because it is running for 30 days, what you're gonna earn in 30 days will be zero, uh, 30 days times 0 0.1, all right? So when you stake it, it goes. Then you make sure you have the cake, click on mass, okay? And then you stake, it's easy. That's how staking functions. It's the same for every platform, okay? Did, you, did I answer your question, sir? You did, but uh, I missed the screen. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I think it's from your end. Uh, just check around in your Zoom. You will see how to go back to where you will see my screen. All right? Thank you. All right. All right. So, uh, Ernest, Ernest, unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay. Um, thank you, sir, for, for the training. Yes. Um, I started a little bit late, but I'd like to know the difference between uh, spot trading and uh, futures trading. And uh, also, I'd like to know the best, you know, the, I could see a number of uh, opportunities, you know, to invest in crypto. Which, which of these nine could yield the most from your experience in in um, crypto trading, which is the best form of investing from this line here? I think that's my question for now. Okay, so let's let's best and then the first one sports. Yeah, the difference between spot trading and leveraged uh, futures okay. trading. Okay, leverage. Let's call it leverage or derivatives. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sport trading is in the market you trade without having to borrow money. So if you have hundred dollars now, okay. If you yeah. have hundred dollars and you buy ten coins, okay. Now yeah. you have ten coins, right? Yeah. Now, if the price of the coin drops, your money will reduce, okay. But okay. you will not lose your money because it is called floating loss. If you okay, hold entirely. and the market goes back up, entirely. you will never lose your money. Even if it drops to zero, you will never lose your money. That's the power of sport, okay? All wow, right, look, 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 at Bit, right. look at this Bitcoin. Those that bought here and then it dumped, they have not lost anything. They only need to hold and it will go back up, okay? Okay. So, uh, that is that, um, but it is not the same for futures. Let okay. me show you how futures works. Um, Let's say you have hundred dollars, okay? For football, okay. you have hundred dollars. You will you will now leverage. You will take a leverage. So we are talking about leverage trading, okay? And the example is football. Yeah. So if you have hundred dollars, okay. and then you leverage ten s, you take a leverage of ten s. Leverage. Please, of what 10S. does that ten x mean? It means times ten. Hundred dollars times ten. Okay. okay. Now, okay. when you take a leverage of 10S, your capital now, your, your trading capital will increase. Trading capital will now become um, $100 times this. So you now have 1,000. Remember, you only have $100 to trade.
But the, the moment yeah. you leverage, you are now trading with one thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. what will happen is this: if the spot market moves by one percent, okay, if the market okay. moves up by one percent, okay, you have made ten percent. You see that? If the market okay. here moves by two percent, you have made twenty percent. All right. Okay, that's twenty percent of one thousand, right? Twenty percent of hundred dollars. You are using you use this leverage to help you make twenty percent of hundred dollars. When in the real market it is just two percent, in the spot market it is just two percent. You understand? Okay. 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 Now, if the market goes to five percent, you have made fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay. Yeah. Because now, but here is the risk. Okay. If the market drops by one percent, you have lost ten percent of your capital. Huh? Okay. Okay. Which is ten dollars. Yes. Now, if the market drops by hundred percent, for instance, you have lost all your capital, and uh, you have lost your money. And at this point, <laughs> your money will disappear. You are, you will get you will get liquidated. You will never have this money again. It's gone. Okay. All right. But if okay. the market is to, in fact, let me tell you the, let me tell you. Sorry, I I this is not even a clear illustration. If the market okay. is to drop by ten, negative ten percent. Sorry. It will be negative hundred percent for you because you are ten s. You are leveraging yeah. ten s. That means yeah. the market will just drop by ten percent, and you have lost your hundred dollars. You have to yeah. now find another money, okay? But yeah. if you are to be in the spot market, even if the market drop by one hundred percent, you will not lose your hundred dollars. All you need to okay. do is to hold on. It will go back up, and then you will see your money with profits. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Now, good. Now, so so it's so it's not sorry cutting you. So it's not advisable to to go for the futures stuff because of the risk. I guess exactly. If you are not experienced, you need to have okay. a lot of experience to trade, and you need to know how to manage your risk. But I will advise you: for if you are not experienced now, forget it. There's no need going there because um, you may do the journey two years, and then you realize that I have wasted twenty thousand dollars. I would have used and made one million dollars if I focus in sports. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Now. Yes, yeah, so coming to the best, you have seen now that futures will give you more money quickly. Futures can give you money quickly today. It can make you 100% per day, but it can okay. well blow your account in one day or the next day. All right? Okay. okay. So we'll be, we should be talking about risk. The, let's look at the risk level. Okay? Let's okay. look at them from the point of view of the risk. When, when okay. talking about risk, Oh, uh, I think um, the spot market poses lesser risk, okay. provided you are trading the top coins and not those that are new or okay. those that That's have the, lesser the market cap. Okay. Yeah? So That's the stable coins. Yes, you are trading those with high market cap. Bitcoin, Ethereum, okay. this one stopping the table. Maybe the first okay. 50, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, the moment you are going out from that zone, then you are entering into the realm of risk. And at this point, you might lose your money. But spot market is the best, okay? Now, okay. of course, airdrops is powerful. You are getting free coins. So if it's something that, okay. you wanna, if you see it, if it looks good, you can claim it with a wallet that you are not using to do well, other people. Well, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, cutting you, sir. I'm in a group where um, they push the whole of airdrops and people complain about they doing so many airdrops and then having nothing. So most times it just gets discouraging. So is it that this airdrop we think is, is a lucky thing? You might just get lucky. Yes, uh, that is also what we are saying here. I have shown you guys now that there are a lot of money in crypto. A lot of money, but you need money to make money. So as, yeah. as long as you don't have a lot of money, you will be at this frame of Joking, playing, wasting time. <laughs> I don't have that time. All right. There are yeah. there are even there drops. I you can pay us. You can pay five hundred dollar to get that in. Wow. Like Uniswap, they did airdrop that made a lot of people money. DYDS exchange, they did airdrop 
So these quality health drops, you don't see them around like that, okay? So uh, what I want to encourage everybody on call, there is money in crypto, okay? Yeah. If, so go and get the money, okay? Get the money and then you can engage in crypto. Otherwise, you will end up being $100, $1,000 crypto trader from year to year. You are crying, okay? So and okay. then how you can get the money is to do what? Get it from your business you are doing now. Or build build an affiliate part of build affiliate business okay get money like what sir all right so there are a lot of things you can do in crypto now. Is, it the oh. um, the, is it the um um the q and how is it called yeah, royal yeah. q stuff. definitely i yes royal q is one of the affiliate business you can do royal q trades the sports trading for you okay it okay. trades this market for you it takes advantage of the fluctuations okay to make you profits why also rewarding you all right for building a community of traders with this you okay. can get the money you need to do what to engage so that you will not be a drop person only okay. Airdrop, okay yeah now yeah. um um so i think uh, this is the the list in terms of risk okay if you buy okay. bitcoin or you don't hold it even if it crashes no problem keep on holding it one day it will make sense Okay, and then yeah, thank you very much. Now, okay. and the P two P, yes, P two P. I guess person to person, but I I like you to treat a little bit of light again. P two P is peer to peer, and how it is done is that, um, it will be a platform that will connect buyer and seller. Okay, okay. and that platform will supervise the threats. Let's say you wanna buy Bitcoin now, uh, you come to a P two P group, WhatsApp, or even on Binance or Hobby. You okay. will see those who want to sell. Now, okay. you will now pay your money to that person's account. Meanwhile, before you pay that money to that person's account, that platform is already holding that person's crypto. If that person okay. says he has Bitcoin to sell, that platform will, hold that, will lock up that person's crypto. You want to sell okay. it and somebody is buying it, they will lock it up. Now, you will now pay your money to that person and then indicate you have paid. That okay. person now we have to confirm, I received the money. The platform will now release the crypto to you. Now, what if you pay it and that person don't want to release the coin? Yeah, that's All what right? I to ask. You will yeah. file a complaint. There's a place to complain. When you complain, okay. Binance or the escrow manager will now ask you to provide evidence that you paid. Once okay. you provide the bank statement that you paid, they, when they confirm it is true, they will punish this guy. They will release that crypto to you and also ban this guy or even punish him. All right? Oh, so it's serious. Well controlled. Yeah. It's, wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's that's cool. All then, right. um, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then I like to throw a little bit of light on, on what centralized and um, decentralized um, exchanges are. I know it's not here. Did you join it? Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit. I think I was 20 minutes late. All right, to make it to summarize it, centralized exchange uh, holds your crypto assets for you. Your crypto assets is in their care. You log in with okay. username and password like Binance, Hobi, and all the rest of them. Why decentralized exchange? Your crypto asset is in your own care. You have access okay. to your crypto. You are. It is your duty to protect it. Okay? Okay. So, okay. I mean, so... Um, Example, sir. So I'm talking about, sorry, uh, decentralized exchange, your crypto asset is in their care, okay? So yeah, you are yeah. Binance and Co. But when you talk about decentralized exchange and decentralized wallets, it okay. means that everything is in your care. So for decentralized exchange, it's where you buy and sell crypto by connecting your decentralized wallets onto them. An example is this pancake swap I showed you guys today. You go here, you can buy and sell crypto here, but you have to connect your decentralized wallet. Another example is Poolcoin. Another example is Uniswap, and there are a lot of them, okay? Now, talking okay. about decentralized wallets, like Metamax, like Trust Wallet, you create it, and then your money will be in your care. You have to protect your recovery phrases to make sure that nobody will see them and steal your money, okay. all right? That, that's as it concerns decentralized. Exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Okay. So the, it means it means the one that saver to to for, for for your for your funds is a decentralized one as opposed to the um, centralized where where they have 
where, where they have access to your password and and your your details well when you talk about security uh definitely most people would prefer to hold have assets hold their money in their care so that uh you know that it is your responsibility to protect it okay so when it okay. comes to security layer um decentralized wallets it's better okay. to have some of your money there okay because okay. it will save you time like um there was a time shiba pumped and those who have it on hot beats they wanted to get yeah. hot beat was having problem they can't log okay. in uh because and, it is a, hot beat is centralized it's a centralized right. exchange okay okay right. okay ah. okay well the only thing uh centralized exchange is offering you is um um they are taking responsibility for your money especially okay. if it is a, a, a reputable exchange like binance your okay. money if anything happens if it's if it gets hacked they will make sure yeah. they pay back all right it might take time but they will pay back again if you want to trade your crypto you have to move it over to either the, okay. uh, that exchange or do okay. it in this but sometimes you get a better deal on centralized exchange like fees okay. you know you don't want to trade on uniswap or yeah. west ethereum fees right you can go on binance and get a better deal all right okay, okay. so you uniswap is centralized Uniswap is decentralized exchange. It's okay. For okay. 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 All right. Thank okay. you very much. We will take another Thank question. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes. Um. All right. So let's go to Johnson. Johnson, go ahead and ask your question. Johnson, ask your question. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Uh, Boss Dennis and everybody here present. Uh, thank you so much for all you are reaching out to us. Thank you. I appreciate a lot. My question is this. Uh, you placed uh, a kind of awareness to us some time ago on the 